In this episode, you're gonna learn how to make money on the internet, part one, blogging. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. If you wanna learn how to start a business, if you wanna learn how to get your hustle on, if you wanna learn how to build generational wealth, this is the place to be. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification thingy. Let's get into it. First thing that you have to do before you start blogging, before you write your first post, figure out who your avatar is. And what an avatar is, is your audience. Who are you writing for? This is very, very, very important. I have a blog right now that I'm writing for nobody except for me. Essentially, I'm putting up old blog posts for people who do not want to watch the video. There are some people out there who are readers, right? It's a long-term project and I've invested a lot of money in it and it's not making any money, but it will make money later. It's one approach that you can take, but if you're just starting, you got to find an avatar. You have to find who, when, and where. Let's say you were going to start a blog about skateboard. Who's your audience? Is it guys? Is it girls? Does your audience hang out? It's the stuff you need to know. If you like say, start a skateboarding blog. I like skateboards, they're kind of cool, and you're right about them. This is what's gonna happen. One, you're gonna run out of content because you're not deeply invested in the world of skateboards. It's gonna be problem number one. Problem number two is you're gonna get tired of it and you're not gonna be consistent because you really don't give a damn about it. That's the thing. This is one of the problems about finding a niche, finding one of the best ways to write, finding a good topic, but you have no interest. In it. It's just going to get old. Even if it's moderately successful, it's going to get old. It's going to get tired. And you're not going to want to do it. Create a blog based upon things that you like to do. That is hands down 90% of it. Finding a topic, writing for an avatar, and writing in a way that is compelling, yet alienating. Comes in and they're just like a casual skateboarder. They're like, oh man, this is hardcore skateboarding stuff. This is talking about the wheels, this is talking about the trucks, this is talking about tricks. Every way you, you, every which way you turn, it is hardcore skateboarding. You're going to alienate people who are casually interested. You're only going to draw hardcore skateboarder, which is an amazing thing, which is a great thing, which is awesome. That's who you want. Hardcore skateboarders will spend money on wheels, boards, tricks, gear, t-shirts, uh, conferences. They will spend. That's how you set up a blog that makes money. Now let's talk about how to get the money. This is what everybody wants to get to. You have to have a plan. You need to figure out, and this is something before you even start writing the blog, you need to figure out how am I going to make money with this? Am I going to sell merchandise? Am I going to sell promoted posts? Am I going to sell gear? Or am I going to, you know, merchandise being apparel, t-shirts and such, gear being the skateboard parts and stuff. How am I going to monetize this? You need to figure this out first. Many people will disagree with me because it's just go ahead and write it and you should make money. And that generally does not work. When I started this YouTube channel, which was predicated on a blog, Urban Pack, right? It doesn't exist anymore, so I don't do that stuff anymore. And I knew who my target audience was. It was white males, 18 to 35, who liked to go out and buy junk and flip it. That was my target audience. That's who I wrote for. That's who I created the channel for. And for like three years, that's all this, this was about. Craigslist, garage sales, eBay, Amazon, eBay's a rattlesnake in your business, all that stuff, right? I made $1.5 million just from the sale of my book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage Unit Auctions. It still makes money to the day, not even close to the money that it used to make, but I still get passive income from that book every month from Amazon. You got to hammer down the audience. You got to hammer down the monetization policy. You've got to knock that out. What's going to happen is you're going to start a blog. You're going to start writing. You're not going to have any concept of how to make money. And generally, that's what's going to happen. You're not going to make a lot of money. You may not make any money. You're going to become burnout and tired. What I did was create a blog. As shortly after I start writing the blog, I started saying, hey, there's a book coming. I started advertising my book immediately. I started advertising my book before I wrote the first page. It's going to take weeks or months for enough people to have interest and buzz into buying your product. So if you want to do a course or anything, you need to start marketing it before you even make it to cat, you know, to give people time to catch up, to allow anticipation to be to build. Yeah, I'm serious because everything that I do 
I start marketing before I do it. Like the current course, Hustle Camp, fortunately has like, you know, 12 courses completed, but the Hustle Camp part and the Fat Cat Secret part, I'm still working on that. But I'm, but the thing is, there's still so much value that people are still buying it, even though it's gonna take me many months to complete the Fat Cat Secrets and the Hustle Camp part. While I'm building this, I'm also raising the price as I add more value. This is something else that's very important about creating a blog. You got to stick a stake in the, in the grass. And what I mean by that is you got to decide who you're selling to and who you're not selling to. One, it's uh, Hustle Camp is $1,350 and probably end of the month it's going to go up. That's not a lot of people who can buy that. But here's the thing. If I get 30 people to buy it this month, that's 40 grand. See how it goes? This is how I'm doing it. Like all of the, the Craigslist stuff, all the books and stuff, I literally give those away. I bring in hustle camp people because some of the people who buy the book, because you know, even though the book is free, there are people who are still paying for it because of the awesome value that I provide on the channel, right? So what's gonna happen is the lion's share of the people who get the free stuff will be appreciative, which buys me goodwill, which is a currency, and then a smaller group of people from there are going to go ahead and purchase Hustle Camp. I only need 30 to 40 sales to have a successful month because of the price point. So that's the game that I'm playing. Give away low margin stuff, give it away for free, and then bring people in through selling on value. Selling like, hey, this is Hustle Camp. It's going to save you so much money. You spend $1,350 now, right? Well, once you start your business and you're making two, 3,000, you spend 1,350 and in a year, you're up 20, 30 grand. It's, it's phenomenally economical to buy Hustle Camp. But once again, that message is only going to resonate with a certain group of people. Most of the folks are not going to get it. And that's cool because there's another thing. You can, essentially plant the seeds for customers next year today. Let's go back to the free stuff that I'm giving away. A year or two years, someone's it's gonna click and someone's like, oh man, yeah, Glennon's got a course for that. Let me go buy that. So I'm getting sales today, I'm getting sales in the future, and I'm creating goodwill. That's how you build a business on the internet. Just an overview on how to blog, how to set it up, and if you like this channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you're ready to enhance and bring up your game, enroll in Hustle Camp. You're going to make so much money. You're going to win. You're going to win so much. You're going to get tired of winning. Wait a minute. You're going to get tired of you're going to get tired of winning cuz you're going to win so much. You're just going to get tired of winning. You're going to win so much. It's going to be great. It's going to be the best thing ever. You're just going to win so much. <laughs> All right. I'm out. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to leave some really nice comments. See, not a smart ass comment, but some really nice comments. Be sure to leave comments and questions in the comment section because I do go in there on occasion and I do answer questions. Test one, test two, test one, test two. I guess it doesn't matter. Mic check one. Mic check two. Mic check six. Mic check seven.